Okay, in this video, we are going to upgrade the RAM of our NAS. This is a brand new system, so we'll be doing the install of the DSM to the latest version. So you can access this uh, from find.synology.com find.synology.com to find the NAS. Then you can go through the wizard to install the latest version of this station manager. We will run through the installation process. And you will go through a restart. This uh, video is sped up, so it'll be a bit slower if in real time. So the Synology NAS we are using is the DS1522. It is a 5 bay unit running on the AMD Ryzen R1600. So this is a DS1522 Plus, it has uh, 4 LAN ports, so we can uh, set up Synology High Availability, which uh, there will be a video on that coming up soon. Okay, so the latest DSM version, at the time of this video is DSM 7.1. Okay, so we'll just step through the setup wizard, uh, device name and the administrator accounts and the passwords. Okay, then just step through the wizard. We'll just automatically install the updates. Synology account is good if you want to remotely access your NAS. You can set it up later. Okay, so we are greeted with the home page, the desktop of the DSM. So here, by default, is running uh, 8 gigs of memory. This is the system default. So let's make sure that the DSM is uh, working properly with the 8 gig before we upgrade the memory. So let's shut down the system, then we will change the memory module. So this is what it looks like, DS1522 Plus. And these are the two RAM modules we are upgrading to. 16 gig sticks for a total of uh, 32 GB of memory. So this is the ECC, ECC memories. Uh, that's what the DSS DS1522 is using. Okay, just uh, trying to get a close up of the memory module so you can see what I'm using. In case you want to just get hold of the same memory I'm using. the Kingston Server Premium Premier. Okay, first thing to do, take out the drive base, 
there's five of them for this uh, DS1522 plus. Okay, let's lay it on the side. The nice thing about the 15 DS1522 plus is that both RAM module are accessible from inside. So there's no need to disassemble the casing. So there's two clips at the side, so push it out and the uh, memory module will snap up. Just gently wriggle the memory module out. Just be a bit gentle as these are fragile stuff. Okay, let's uh, install our upgraded memory. This is the 16 gig stick. Okay, notice there's a notch on the memory module. So it only goes in one way. So this is the wrong way. Because the notch doesn't align. So we would have to flip it around. Okay, so in this orientation, the, the notch matches, so this is the correct orientation. Just gently wriggle it in, so when the memory module is at the angle, you shouldn't see the contacts, the go contacts. So that's how far in the memory module should go. Then just push it down, and then you will see it click. In. So the clips were uh, spring loaded, so you clip in. So you do the same for the other module. So watch for the notch, make sure it aligns with the, the other side. So angle it, goes in at the angle, so we'll try to wriggle it in gently until the go contacts are not seen then gently push it down and the clips will clip in okay so we have successfully installed the two memory modules so we can uh, install back the drive base five of them Okay, we're done. Then we can connect the power, the LAN cables, and then we can log in again. So go back to your control panel info section. Then here we see that the DSM correctly identifies 32 GB for total memory. So we have validated that the two 16 GB modules work.